Hi, welcome all. This is Anas here. This side today I'm going to explain about server load balancing using checkpoint firewall. Well, I'll be deploying checkpoint firewall in distribution deployment. That is um, enforcement module separate and management server separate. And our focus is on to deploy server load balancing using checkpoint firewall. So in front of the screen you can see um, the topology which I'm trying to uh, implement in my lab using VMware. So this is this will be my checkpoint firewall with external interface ETH1. Interface IP will be 192.168.0.200 and internal interface will be ETH0 with 10.111.0.136 and which will be in same LAN as that of the server. Server 1 is 10.111.0.200 and server 2 is 10.111.0.201 which are identical and we will be using a load balancing for these two servers. Well, how the traffic has to suppose to come from the internet is any user coming from the internet suppose it has to take one of the external interface of the firewall in, in our scenario I'll be using 192.168.0.201 I'll be using 192.168.0.201 when a traffic hit this 201 it has to redirect either to the server 1A or server 1B. If we are using round robin mechanisms, it will go to server 1A first packet and if some different user it is coming, it will go to the server 1B. So that CPU utilization will be equally distributed between server 1A and 1B. Let me take you to the uh, uh, lab topologies. Uh, this is my uh, load balancing firewall and this is my management server this is my server 1a this is my server 1b I have used a free application XMPP control panel to build a web server so let's check what is the IP of this machine this is 10.111.0.200 okay let's see how does the web server look like ten dot triple one dot zero dot two hundred this is how two hundred looks like ten dot triple one dot zero dot two hundred looks like okay let's try the other server what I will be doing is I won't I am using the same application XM here as well and I will try to open that web page from this this server because it is in same VLAN we should be able to open it from here as well uh, well great so it's um, fetching the data from the other server so I have made it not exactly identical web page so that uh, when we get the output we will be able to differentiate so you, did you see here this is our first server a1 let's uh, see what is this output this is our second server 10.111.0.201 okay let me take you to the checkpoint firewall I have um, configured uh, you know topology and all let me quickly show you how the how my basic setup is this is the topology this is my external interface 192.168.0.200 this is my internal interface <coughs> sorry this is the management server 192 10.111.0.130 alright and let's go to the policy the policy for checkpoint load balancing is pretty simple source why any because it can be coming from anybody as a source and logical server how we need to configure a logical server how do you need to configure let me quickly show you about this any 
go here network objects new others logical server so you will have an option there give any name logical server 1 1 and give the logical server IP 0 0.201 and type is others persistent mode server mode by ser by services and we are gonna use a round robin mechanism over here okay and server groups we have to just choose here okay logical server groups so what is inside the logical server groups let me quickly show you um, uh, what is a, a group inside the logical server this is my logical server logical server means real servers that is 10.11.0.200 and 201 okay so we are pretty done with the policy creations okay this is same identical let me quickly show you that one also logical server others persistent service round robin delete the policy and nothing else to do over with, with, the, with the policies you just install the policies yes um, I quickly forgot to mention about that as we are using um, 0 0.201 which, which we don't have any interface we need to create a proxy ARP for this otherwise the, the request for 201 we will have an um, uh, issue with the, the ARP request so how do we create that for proxy ARP we need to go to firewalls ok 10.11.0.136 is in my case and let me log in admin admin one two okay, it's getting locked once you log in you need to create a proxy app for this because ARP then what is the IP 192.168.168.0.201 because it's a free IP from the pool and we will be giving the MAC address MAC address for the interface is show interfaces all so this is the MAC address for ETH0 but we had to assign with ETH1 so I have copied this MAC address here it is 000C29A874111 let's go back and apply that MAC address ok now MAC address has been applied let's push the policies some of the rules are hidden, no problem. Let me show you what is the hidden policies. This is the hidden policy. I will explain about this uh, policies later. Right now we are not using this policy policy installation has been com successfully completed uh, now l let's uh, let's try whether we can um, from externally whether we can uh, connect it to the servers so I'm coming out of my VM machine okay I'm, I'm in same network IP con I'm in same network as that of my external interface 192.168.0.10 and my external interface 0.200 okay let's see whether we can connect it to the server from here 201 dot 201 well good great it seems like it's not working so let's let's see what happens with these packets let's capture these packets uh, maybe we can use Wireshark yes it's not working and we may have to do some troubleshooting so let's analyze what's happening with the, with the packets so who is having okay see some ARP request can you see that for our IP that ARP protocol is not getting resolved it seems yeah who is having 201 who is having 201 so no response for 201 
so 201 201 there is no response let's check uh, in, in our system whether we have an ARP request uh, uh, ARP entry table is not available for 192.168.0.201 um, probably something is missing in firewall side uh, let's see whether that packet is reaching our firewall maybe we will capture the packets through smart view tracker so let's see whether it uh, reaches our firewall 192.168.0.0. What is the IP of this machine? 10. 0 .10. This is 120. 2.20 time here. It is 1.20. This is all packets. So packet is not reaching here. Let's capture the packets through CLI let me log in with export mode TCP dump minus I ETH one. Um, let's see whether we have any ARP request. Oh, let, let, let's generate once again. Let's go run the command again. Stop. Uh, see, did you see here who has uh, 201 tell 02? So our request is reaching here, but it's not able to uh, resolve that ARP request. Yes, it's because we have manually created the ARP request, and in global properties, we need to enable this one merge manual proxy ARP operation because we have manually created the proxy proxy ARP. So desktop screen resolution so I have done that now let's me push the policy once again let's let's uh, w it, it takes some time so policy push is completed so let's see whether we have our request fulfilled uh, see once the policy is pushed 201 is being uh, you can see in ARP ARP entry in my local machine so let us test uh, see I guess it's, it's an, uh, yeah. once it is open it has been opened so let's test it okay see so it goes to server 201 that's fine so we need to make sure that it's going to other interface as well, other server as well, uh, to 100% make sure um, whether round me robin mechanism is working or not. What I will do is I will change the IP of my machine. Why? Because checkpoint has a uh, stickiness features uh, enabled with uh, by default. So if you are using the same IP, always it will traffic will be always going to the one server alone. It won't change the to another server. So I have change the my machines IP so that it takes did you see the difference see it, it has going to the sub server number a one and previously it was going to the server number two so from this it's clear that load balancing is perfect working perfectly okay so another thing what I want to tell is here we are using in the option of others in case if you are using HTTP options we may we required these policy S source any and direct traffic to this well wha how does it works is let me go back to the topology once the initial first traffic will be coming here to that 
this IP 192.168.0.201 then once it is initiated firewall will tell that you can take the traffic directly to these servers so uh, firewall will allow to directly go from the source any to 10.11.0.200.201 so in that case the challenge will be you need to have a routing from your user to this IPs otherwise things may not work so to overcome that what you can do is you can also have a separate NAT rule so that any traffic coming from to the firewall should be able to NAT it to these two IPs you can overcome by that initial configuration which I showed you we are not adding any ma any NAT rule its machine itself is acting as a behalf of these two servers checkpoint will be acting as a behalf of these two servers any traffic coming uh, from here it will go here and it will do the netting let me quickly before winding up let me quickly show in the smart view tracker those logs okay cool see do you see that we didn't have any NAT rule that's why NAT rule is zero this is zero standard rule number one so so traffic from zero dot 10 is coming to 201 and it is getting nada to this without any natural I hope it's clear to you if you have any questions or comments please feel to write it down thank you and you are welcome